Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. Now let's see what the tarot has to say. Oh, and if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It is listed in the description box below. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Fantastic. So we are crowned here with the hangman reverse. So we're seeing things differently. So just being aware of that. And we look at things differently. I mean, if you've stumbled across this channel, if you're part of this family, then you just see things differently than other people do. It's not a bad thing. It is a you thing. And it's part of your soul and the reason why you're on this earthly plane. So you're questioning yourself. You're like, am I seeing things the right way? Am I moving forward in the right way? Do I know what it is that I want? Should I be more like everybody else? Am I doing things right? So there's a lot of questioning that can come up during this month, which I mean, as a Sagittarian, we question anyway. So that is a natural part of ourselves. But we can really have a lot of doubt layered with that questioning. So do be mindful about that. It can make it so that we get a little bit paralyzed with like, oh, can I move forward? Can I not? Should I, should I do this? Should I not? So just be aware. We can also take too many opinions into consideration. We then have the Ace of Swords. This is God's source spirit. However, you see the divine, the universe handing us a gift of knowledge, of creativity, of power of voice, of insight, of intuition. And we're really cutting through a lot of negativity, hurt, pain, disappointment. And we're saying, this is me. But we're also seeing everything that has forged us in our life, everything that has been hard, that has been overwhelming, that has made us question ourselves. We're now like, Hmm, you know what? I see me. Like, I know I had to go through all of that to really see me. And it's not saying that any of that was okay and that, you know, people can get off the hook, but it's really seeing that we were forged. We were like put into a hot oven and then hammered and hammered and hammered just like a, a sword is made. So that's going to be part of our power during this time. It's like, I have these battle scars. Yeah, but I've earned them. Like, I stand here strong and and powerful. And it moves us then to the Knight of Swords reverse. So we're taking the gift of the Ace of Swords, the gift that God's Swords Spirit has, has given us, but we're not really seeing that we can utilize it. So with the, with the Knight of Swords, there's a sense of of wanting to charge forward, of wanting to be the hero of the story, or wanting somebody to rescue things, and not realizing that we have to kind of step back think things through. We want the things to happen really, really quickly. We're also going to be kind of egged on by air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So if we have this energy in our chart, if we have this energy in our life, it plays through very powerfully during this time. But we also want to move forward very quickly. We don't want things to have to, you know, sit and wait and, and build and, and be, you know, this way about it or that way about it. We want to be in it right now. So just being aware of this during this time is going to be super important. We're also going to be very drawn to people who are making really fast decisions because we're going to be thinking, wow, they're really just, just going for it. But they're also making reckless decisions. So we have to be mindful of that. We can be really pulled in by recklessness, thinking that it's, you know, assertion. It moves us then, yeah, to the three of of wands the three of wands is a sense of doors opening right but with the three of wands reversed it's going to be doors opening within ourselves it's not necessarily doors opening externally so we can actually get a bit frustrated here during this time where it's like oh but this is supposed to be here and that was supposed to be through we can actually find that there are setbacks that come there are things that get lost in the mail there are things that you know we're waiting for this phone call or we're waiting for this email or we're waiting for this or we're waiting for that and it's like hurry up and wait is a theme of this month but it's also this real sense of, are you sure? You know, are you putting your energy into something that will grow? Or are you putting your energy into something just so that we can put our energy into something? Because we think we should be doing this. We think we should be doing that. So we're going to get setbacks that make us look at things differently, that make us look at ourselves differently, that make us question, that make us, you know, see things in a different light. We then have the three of swords. So it's very interesting is that doors open within us, but we're also starting to see the scars that have made us. And that's a huge part 
of this month for us. Even though we might think, oh, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want scars. I don't want hurt. I don't want pain. Of course, like who does? But life comes with scars. You know, it's that sense of the sword being forged, right? It goes into the hot oven. You then take it out. You you bang it. You you dump it into water, you know, to cool it. And you see what comes out. And sometimes the metal breaks and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we break as human beings along our journey and sometimes we don't. And here with the Three of Swords, we're looking at our heartbreak. We're looking at our pain. We're looking at our disappointment and we're finding voice to it. And at first, we are going to find a bit of a reckless voice to it or a bit of a dismissive voice to ourselves. And this is going to be a time where we have to learn to really embrace the voice that has come through. You know, the voice that has lived, the voice that has has loved and, and lost and, and hurt and and grown. And it's not always the most it's not always what everybody wants, because we want things to be beautiful and, and easy and perfectly curated in a very certain way. But here there's a real honesty to things that actually people are going to be drawn to you for. It's like, oh, wow, you know, you were open and honest about this. Oh, wow, you know, you saw it this way. And it moves us then to the five of swords. We have to remember as we're healing through pain that we're not the same person we were. We're going to, we have this idea of ourselves and we usually do, right? As human beings, we get this idea of ourselves. So I'm, I'm really good at, at math, but I'm not good at, at storytelling. I'm really good at cooking, but I'm not good at, at baking. So, you know, you can sit there and, and tell ourselves all these different stories and tell we believe, oh, this is the way I am. And yet it might be like, well, I just find baking boring or I haven't baked the right, right cake that really gets me interested. So here with the five of swords, looking at things differently and seeing ourselves and saying, I'm not the narrative I've told me. I'm so much more and I'm opening up my world and I'm opening up myself and I'm moving me forward. And it brings us then to the seven of pentacles. It brings us then to a place of patience, but also prosperity. And as we patiently build, we see ourselves, we see what we desire in our life. We see ourselves moving forward towards success and towards, you know, bigger, better, better things. But it's like, okay, this is the time and this is going to be the month where we set things up. We set things up and we align things. We align things for the harvest to come. We align things for the prosperity that we need to see within ourselves, but also for seeing our voice and hearing our voice for the first time in a long time. And that's going to be really important for this month for us is that we're finally starting to hear ourselves. We're finally starting to connect with ourselves in a really powerful way. We lost the story. We lost our plot. And now we're getting it back. And we're seeing the pain that we have been through. And instead of seeing it as, you know, something aggravating or negative or, you know, a why me, we're looking at things and saying, I'm fierce. And I lived through that. And now I'm moving forward because I'm a warrior. And that is... It's just we're taking the narrative of a story and we're really moving forward in it. So let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. But the, but the thing is, right here, right with the hangman, is that we're questioning ourselves. We're seeing ourselves as a warrior and then thinking, yeah, you know, am I like, seriously? No, no, not really. I'm not, I'm not that strong or I'm not that powerful. And we'll talk ourselves out of it. And we can talk ourselves out of things during this month. I mean, around words around communication, around insight. We're sucking everything in. We're like sponges. We're sucking in all the, all the stories, all the language, all the, all the beauty of it all, all the communication. So just, just be aware of this, that we can take in the really good, but we can also take in the really negative. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified when that announcement is made. We have strawberries here and it says, enjoy. I love strawberries, especially fresh strawberries when they're, you know, warm from the sun. And it says here, enjoy. And that's going to be a secret to this time. And that's actually a secret to our life. It is time to enjoy things. It is time to embrace the beauty of things. And it's a time to embrace the beauty of us and to enjoy ourselves. And to look at us and say, you know what? I can, I can shoulda, coulda, woulda. I can wish up and down the Mississippi. But now I'm starting to enjoy me. Now I'm looking at things and seeing the beauty within me. And that is a very beautiful thing. And that is a very powerful thing. And it moves us to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Ooh, and show me clearly. 
this is listening reverse that's why spirit said like the voice is so important during this time communication the voice even though we have the messenger reverse right the knight of of swords reverse we feel like things are kind of out of our control they're they're out of our hands at times but here if we embrace the throat chakra and we embrace listening because we're going to have a blockage in our throat chakra humming singing you know chanting or even just listening to to that energy is going to be very beneficial for us listening showing up that is going to be a powerful thing because in a world where everybody talks and nobody listens if we listen we will find that that's our superpower it will it will help us in our family settings it will help us in our work settings it will help us in life and it'll also help us with ourselves let me listen to me what am i frustrated about what am i happy about what am i moving towards where do i want to be let me listen to me and that is going to be a very beautiful thing and that is a very beautiful thing it moves us to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels this is the four of cups reverse so be mindful here that we can get really caught up in one narrative of things okay one way somebody says things one way we we see things it's going to be this one narrative and we're going to have something that pulls us out of our comfort zone and our first reaction to that is going to be no i'm not doing this this is nonsense i'm not doing this but it is actually spirit pulling us on a different path that is is very very needed it's kind of like it's kind of like when you're learning how to do a martial art and you go to a class right and everybody does everything and they've been doing these drills all the time right and they all move like in a dance like they all know what they're doing and you're sitting there kind of like a schmuck like you don't know what you're doing and you're stumbling and it's like i'm never going back but if you go back you learn to dance and here it's it's spirit talking to you and we're so busy right in our world saying oh but i know this and i know that that we're not listening to the dance we're not listening to the music that spirit is bringing saying to us okay let's let's try that line let's try these steps let's open up that door so just being aware of that is going to be a very important thing and it's going to help us What's going to help us is listening, is listening and connecting. We see things differently and we're questioning ourselves because we're going to be thinking since things can feel like it's a little bit rocky, it can feel like, oh, I haven't transformed the way that I want to, or I'm not at the place that I wanted to be, or I, I wanted bigger growth, bigger this, bigger that, and, and this isn't hitting the high, high notes that I expected. So we can look at ourselves and say, well, it has to be me. But it is also here saying to us, it's not you. It's saying, settle into you and see you, listen to you and see what your heart is saying. See what your soul is saying. See how you're opening up the door. What do you want? What have you now declared within yourself that you want? Because you've made a declaration, Sagittarius, and that's what's going to be so exciting about this month is that this is you taking hold of that declaration and bringing it forward for the rest of the year, yes, but also for like the rest of your life, which is, is huge. And there's a clarity that comes forward and that's what the ace of swords and we don't see it because we're the knight of of swords reverse right we have this impetuous you know pushy energy around us it can be because of somebody else right we can be dealing with somebody who is very pushy very impetuous very like you know does things and then thinks about the consequences of them or we can we can have that energy around us too like we can do things and then think of the consequences so just be mindful about this we need to listen we need to slow things down we need to look at the way the the world is opening to us within us not externally internally and we also need to know that we're healing from pains that have scarred us that have wounded us that would have brought other people down we're healing from these pains and we're not the person we once were we're not and if we keep on stepping into the old narrative we'll keep on putting ourselves back we'll keep on saying oh i i can't do this i can't move forward this way i, I don't get to have xyz and spirits like no be patient be patient because within the count of seven, it can be seven days, seven weeks, seven months, you know, or the seventh month, right? Well, no, that was July. Huh. Interesting. No, there's something here that happened. And it's like within the seventh month, the seed was planted and it start and it has now started to grow. So just be aware of this because I know we're now in the eighth month, but there's there's something here. It started in it started in July, and you will see kind of more fruit of its labors coming forward in august and you will be very surprised okay all right sagittarius i hope this reading has resonated with you i wish you nothing but light love peace and happiness may harmony always be with you oh wait i forgot i forgot our 
ending with our subconscious, we have here connection reverse. This is fox foxglove. We need to embrace connection with ourselves, with other people, and really see us moving forward in that energy and in that showing up. Because right now we don't feel connected. We feel kind of adrift, kind of overwhelmed. So being aware of this is going to be important. It moves us then to our root chakra, which is balance. And here it is reversed again. So I know like reverse energies, people get really upset. It is just different ways for spirit to tell the stories because you know there's only so many, so many cards in a deck. And here it's a blockage in the root chakra, but it's a blockage around our balance. And what is Sagittarius but balance? We are represented by temperance. Temperance is balance in the in the major arcana. And so claiming our balance, claiming our harmony, finding balance within ourselves is going to be one of the most important and prosperous and bountiful things we can do for us. But it's also going to be one of the most challenging. So focusing on our root chakra, grounding ourselves, rooting ourselves, and embracing our energy of balance, even focusing on our physical balance, if we want to put in, you know, kind of like a little bit of, of yoga into that, focusing on our physical balance, we can find that we we easily, you know, we don't have our, our center of gravity right now, like our, our center balance. And, and claiming that balance again is going to help claim us, you know, move us forward. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of, which is the three of swords. We have the three of swords here, which says, okay, we're going to be looking at the heartbreak and pain in our life. We do not want to be eaten by it. We, do, we don't. It is so easy when, when pain comes forward for all of a sudden that becomes all we can focus on. Or it's like, well, it wasn't fair. And it's like, yes, that's true. It wasn't fair, but it isn't our definition. And here it is looking at the pain, it is looking at the heartbreak, it is looking at the disappointment. It is seeing it, but it is not letting that define us. And it's it's healing. It's knowing our strength. And it's seeing ourselves as, as being forged, as so much more than we ever thought we could be. And it moves us then to our subconscious. <laughs> Here we go. Tarot message, which is transformation. Here now, this is the, the death card. This is Scorpio energy. So if you're born on the cusp of Scorpio, if you have Scorpio in your chart, this is reversed. So it can be that we're a little bit secretive, that we, we kind of want to keep things to ourselves, hide things a little bit to us. But we can also be dealing with a secretive energy, you know? And during this time, it's, it's around a wound that we have had and a secret kept with it. And it can be that we didn't want people to know that this affected us as much as it had, or we... We're, we're afraid of the anxiety of the future, you know, comes forward. What if I don't do this? What if this hap doesn't happen? And so here we're fighting the transformation that's coming to us. And as we're fighting the transformation, because we are naturally supposed to transform, we're keeping ourselves stuck. And that's keeping us weighed down. That's keeping us like sick. It's, it's making us not feel good. So just be aware of this during this time, Sagittarius, because you're really wanting to open up the door to this whole new future, to this brave, beautiful world. And it, it's not by being stuck and stagnant. That's actually going to keep us, you know, it's going to keep us down. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of a positive energy, as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Sagittarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.